Motorsport 411 presents all the four and two wheeled action. Motorsport 411 with Sean Cartavillas. Welcome to Motorsport 411, your home for all your four and two wheel action in Africa. Coming up in this episode, we'll speak to Ugandan rally driver Yasin Nasser, who won in Arusha over the weekend and is also in the UK to purchase a new rally car. And in Uganda, we get the latest from the National Rally Championship with the head of FMU Media and PR Commission and also renowned journalist uh, Frank Hesse. All the four and two wheeled action. Motorsport 411. Welcome uh, to the show. So it was a great week for Ugandan rally driver Yasin Nasa and his navigator Ali Katumba as they won the Guru Nanak rally in Arusha and then went to the UK where they've purchased a new rally car. Yasin, uh, thank you so much for speaking to us on Motorsport 411. Uh, congratulations. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of good things happening to you and Ali Katumba. Uh, first of all, the win in Tanzania. How did the rally go for you? I think uh, God is with us uh, this time round as well. And uh, Alhamdulillah that we are still uh, moving on ahead. We have uh, a brighter future ahead. Uh, Arusha was uh, very uh, good for us. We were not really uh, prepared uh, after the last event that we had. We had a lot of issues with our car. We had to call in Terry, Terry Stampa, to come and help us to sort the car. Uh, okay, what, what issues did you have with the car? Uh, I think it was, it was all uh, about the wire harness. We had some uh, cut off wires inside, uh, it seems like. So it wasn't working for us. It was losing some... Uh, uh, electrical uh, connections from one side or the other. Now, 2022, it appears you've been focusing more on the Tanzania Championship. Uh, just tell us why. Uh, it was just for fun. We said that we our main sponsors are from Tanzania. So we, say, we said, let's just uh, go and have some fun on Tanzanian side and uh, also, you know, uh, put our name across that we also in motorsports uh, uh, across East Africa. So th that's why we decided to do the Tanzanian Championship. How do you find the quality of rallying in Tanzania compared to Uganda? There's not much happening in Tanzania. Uh, the numbers are very low. Um, there, there are some good cars and some are uh, some old cars, but very competitive. Um, they're all in Group S, uh, most of them. And uh, But it's fun because the numbers are small. The, the numbers are very small there. Uh, they lack uh, a lot of people. They lack uh, sponsorships. So they're not able to run 100%. But it's good, basically. We can, we can do with it. Now, the big news, of course, from the last couple of days is that you've acquired an R5. Uh, you've gone to the UK. In fact, you're in the UK at the moment. Uh, you've visited M Sport. Uh, just tell us about that. Uh, yeah, we started the, the process about eight months ago. We uh, the, the the queue is too 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 long, with M Sport having a lot of orders uh, after Skoda Skoda stopped uh, production of their cars. So uh, basically, we started in uh, February uh, this year to to discuss with uh, and confirm our orders with uh, with M Sport, and uh, our actual delivery was supposed to be in. Uh, September, September, October, but uh, because uh, because of the COVID uh, situation and um, uh, all other uh, unavoidable uh, circumstances, the delay was late. So yes, uh, we came in a couple of days ago. We've been at uh, M Sport the whole day, and the car has been delivered already. And uh, as we speak now, it is on the way to Entebbe. So hopefully by um, next week, we, we will have the car back home. And we start from there. Congratulations to you and Ali Katumba. Uh, how happy do you feel, uh, not only for yourself, but as a country? Uh, this is the first R5 uh, for Uganda. Uh, okay, it's, it's, we are very happy as a team, first of all. Uh, looking at the history that we've gone through, we've been with the, like four N10s and then coming to a GVB R4 straight away. And uh, after winning our uh, WRC2 uh, ARC2 event uh, last uh, last last year, then again we wanted to continue 
going for ARC events. So it's it's a very good opportunity for us. Basically, we are all very happy. Uh, it's not the first R5 in uh, in Uganda, but there is one which was there and uh, but not been driven uh, uh, very much. Uh, it's uh, it's only it's only been done. It's only done uh, the AR the the WRC event in Kenya. But uh, yes, it's the first uh, Mark II in uh, Uganda, uh, officially out of M Sport. And uh, what I've been uh, also told that from M Sport is the first Mark II that has come into Africa. I don't know how true that would be, but uh, from from their information, that is the first Mark II that has come to Africa. Wow. Uh, can you just clarify uh, to us about the uh, first R5 in Uganda? Aman Rise, Aman Rise uh, Skoda, the one he's been driving in WRC is, uh, is a Ugandan registered vehicle. It has been in Uganda, but uh, because he doesn't uh, participate in so many events, he's only done the ARC events, uh, WRC events in, uh, in Kenya. Uh, okay, thank you very much for clarifying that. Now, from your point of view, uh, what are your plans for 2023? Um, so far, the plans that we have, we will do all the ARC events. And uh, we are also looking uh, to do some KNRC events as well, so that we can be a bit competitive and gauge ourselves as well. So, so far, those are the plans. Uh, maybe a couple of other plans would come out uh, later in the year and we'll see how it goes but we'll keep you posted tell you what we're really looking forward to seeing you in 2023 uh we see raji barrage uh, of course uh, getting an r5 uh he's got an r5 there's karan patel uh, you know it, it's going to be quite a battle between you guys in 2023 yeah it's it's going to be fun um we will need a couple of time to to get used to the car and uh, have a good sea time and practice a lot and see um, how it goes. But uh, I know um, Karan Patel and Raj Berji are already very experienced in their cars. They know how their cars are behaving and uh, um, it will be a good competition. It will be a good competition. Let's see how it goes. Um, everything has a, you, you, you need to keep on trying and see what you can do best for yourself, you know? That is great to hear. Uh, you've had a long standing relationship with Moyle. Uh, just tell us about them uh, and your other sponsors. Um, about our sponsors, uh, Moyle has been there for us for, we've been together for over 22 years. And uh, Moil is a petroleum company uh, based in East Africa. So our head office is in Tanzania, Dar es Salaam. And uh, uh, we have uh, Uganda Airlines uh, since uh, this year who sponsored us uh, some tickets for the cruise to travel to Tanzania. And uh, currently we are uh, having um, Superdoll from Tanzania who, sponsor, who are partly sponsoring us in the Tanzanian events uh, this year but they are really interested to come on ARC events for next year as well. We are still in discussion. We have not gotten final uh, response from them but uh, hopefully in a couple of weeks. Okay. Yasin, uh, how much of a boost for Uganda Motorsport is it uh, now that you purchased the R5 and do you see any other R5s being purchased uh, for the championship? Do you see this as a turning point uh, for Uganda Motorsport? Uh, Sean, um, it's a very proud moment uh, for the country at the moment because uh, if you look at us, uh, we have always given priority to international events for the past three years and uh, this is uh, part of, uh, we are boosting the country, uh, the country's uh, flag as, uh, as a Uganda and um, at the moment I'm seeing a couple of uh, protos have been uh, brought in uh, Duncan Chikankane has a proto, uh, Ronald Sebuguzi has a proto, uh, Rajiv has a proto and uh, um, I know a couple of two or three guys are still bringing in the protos but uh, you know it's like uh, it's something that is changing already in the, in the system but uh, protos as, you, as we know they cannot be able to participate in any ARC events so having an R5 uh, maybe maybe after 
seeing what uh, what we've uh, bought probably some of them can change uh, to come into the market with the with the with the with the r5s but it's it's really difficult it's not easy if uh, we took uh, eight months to to prepare and get to where we are at the moment so probably imagine others how they are going through how are they going to manage to do it needs time they will need a, a year plus because uh, as we were we at m sport yesterday they were booked until june 2023 so if you're putting up um, an order now you are expecting anything to come maybe planning for 2024 and it's very hard if it's a private it's a private uh, or an, it's an individual who is purchasing an r5 from m spot uh, at the moment they need to wait for eight months nine months to get the actual car A word about your navigator Ali Katumba uh, you know he's almost like a brother to you and it's good to see him with you in the UK. Uh we've been with Ali for more than 6 years now um and uh, we've uh, we've connected uh, very well. We are we are family and uh, we've been together in all thick and thin so you know when when you have somebody who is supporting you everywhere you must continue being with them it's a brotherhood and uh, you know once you click you still need to continue so we started our journey long way back we suffered we've uh, we've won uh, uh, rallies we've won championships and uh, if we are continuing to move on we need to be together hand in hand at in all uh, events and everything and finally uh, you've said you're going to take part in the Africa Rally Championship will we see you at the 2023 Safari Rally Uh, we do have the plans uh, to be there, uh, but we'll we'll see how the budgets are going to go. Is uh, this will be a fun event, uh, but just the way we said that it's going to be a a learning process for us still. But uh, pr- probably uh, when time comes and uh, the budgets allow, we will definitely join in the WRC event. Yasin Nasser on behalf of Motorsport 411 uh, thank you so much congratulations once again on the purchase of the Mark 2 uh, Ford Fiesta R5 uh, congratulations and of course uh, a great win uh, in Arusha over the weekend thank you so much John thank you so much and good luck to you all with your show that's Ugandan rally driver Yasin Nasser we'll be back all the four and two wheeled action Motorsport 411 Welcome back. Now Uganda Motorsport continued its hectic schedule with the penultimate round of the National Rally Championship. Frank Hesse is the head of the FMU Media and PR Commission and also a renowned journalist. Frank, uh, thank you so much for speaking to us on Motorsport 411. Uh, first of all, you had an event over the weekend. How did it go? Uh talking about the event that ran over the weekend that is uh the Kalilo Sugar Rally. It was it's actually been it was a pertinent uh, round of NRC 2027 uh, 22 and we only left one rally one mainstream rally left at hand uh, to conclude the calendar. I can say I can say bravo bravo to the organizers who put up every safety measure to count to see that it was uh, uh, a safe end of the event much as we had the skies open with rain uh, for the last two, two days of running of the event. But of course that all signaled to the drivers that a man and machine had to be set and prepared to get to touch the surface as it was a challenge in all out because uh, we had no powers over predicting or had no powers over control with the changing weather all in all it was all a good outing with a good turn up we had 34 entries uh, specifically for that event and luckily uh, we had uh, uh, 17 finishers at the end of the two day event and I'm um, gladly to say that uh, uh, with that tendency from our fans our fans have never disappointed always they drive kilometers away from the city hard that's Kampala to the any side of the region uh, to get themselves what their darling drivers cruising the machines onto the surface and I can say uh, Kalilo Sugar Rally wasn't exceptional it was all same as way they have been doing to the other rallies cutting across the country and uh, and look of the results a uh, well it was really unpredictable of the podium slots but though there were other guys that were expected to be on the podium and unfortunately some didn't make it and some did make it 
and the victors of the rally, uh, the crew of Ronald Sebguzi and Anthony Mogamba in the Ford Fiesta Proto uh, were one of the few early accounted persons who could put up a state uh, a battle between them and other drop-up crews like uh, uh, Dankani Mubiru Chikankani, who is a popular driver of the Kenyan fans. Uh, it's unfortunately, the machine gave way with a bit of misfiring and and, for, and uh, he wouldn't make it to the end much as he had drawn the first blood on the first day. That is on day one. He led the first two stages before the super special stage run in Nakalama. And it was a signal heads up to the other guys who are ready to contend for the same uh, posture positions uh, to have their success pulled up. And luckily, uh, the victor, the eventual victor crew kept in the trail uh, as they ended day one as car number three. And they went ahead to win the rally as car number one at the end of the whole event on Sunday. But all in all, I can say we had an exciting outing. I, I give good to the organizer, the CUC, the clerk of course, Alfred Mutan and team, that made it possible that the rally uh, was a little bit shortened up but with, with a high score of mileage. And I can say with the kind of organization that calls for a closed out uh, route uh, mapping into rally, uh, we scored for that. And I can absolutely tell you, Sean, uh, away from you Kenyans who have a chance to have big giants of land where you can uh, uh, organize the whole competitive stages of the rally. Uganda will still hunt of such grounds, but unfortunately, we had a chance to have a uh, host by a few sugarcane growers give us a patch of their land and a few close out stages. Uh, may not have been completely closed out to the public, but it was, uh, I can say, 80% closed out to the public that we had such an event organized and pulled off. That's what I can briefly put you up with uh, what happened at the Pitnet round of 2022 National Rally Championship, Uganda. Now, the focus was on the protos. Uh, I think there were two protos which had entered the event, uh, but in the end, it was a Subaru N12 uh, that prevailed. <laughs> I love that outline, Sean. Indeed, the boys came. They did their best, practiced and put on the show. I can absolutely say my racers of the weekend were the crew of uh, Ma Michael Mkula Jr. and co-driver Joe, that is of course uh, Fred Chinji, uh, 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 who are driving in a Subaru Impreza N12B. That's an, another Kenyan uh, uh, car that crossed the borders to Uganda. And I know the car's scored history, clean sheet in the history of racing. And I know the Kenyans are really settled hearted that uh, we're having that car in the right hands of the young boys the young crew that is really giving it all time. I can say, uh, with the look of things, these young guys, the young crew of my Kukula and colleague have really given in a lot of time that is in practice, uh, committing to the car, doing the right things at the right time. And uh, her, seeing such a crew picking up rigors, uh, results against the top boys, the top big guns, that is something uh, really recommendable. Uh, we are expected to see fireworks in the next rally as they scratch the heads of the top guns in the next uh, uh, last round of NRC as they have already achieved their goal of having uh, becoming the Club Rally Man Championship uh, champions of this year, 2022. Uh, please give us uh, an idea of the standings. Uh, just tell us uh, what the standings are at the moment. Uh, this was the penultimate round. Uh, what are the standings like at the moment? Uh, looking at the standings, uh, I can tell you... Uh, uh, we have already at the grid, uh, leading up the grid, the NRC grid is none other than uh, the man himself who missed out on the weekend. That was, of course, uh, Osian Rakataka. Uh, he did miss out, but of course, uh, uh, but he was uh, still in the lead. He has uh, three, uh, 332 points. Uh, he's just 60.5 uh, 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 points adrift uh, of the second person. That is uh, the second runner of the weekend rally, uh, Jonas Kansime. And uh, coming in third is uh, uh, on the championship contention is uh, Byron Rugomoka, who is now off uh, the grid of the championship by a drift of, uh, from the leader, by a drift of 70 points. And that, that sings or sends uh, green bells in the contenders that any person who could be at the best sitting of the car would make their way. If that, uh, the top lead of the championship, that's Posian Rakataka Mafumafu, does not take up completely in the last rally. And these are the two free contenders that are following in the third and fourth, up to the fourth place, uh, make their way onto the 
podium slopes. The only need, I can say, Jonas, Byron, and of course, Umar Dauda uh, need to have themselves onto the podium. Uh, much as uh, it will be so swift and nice if they won the last round. Any of them winning the last round would turn the tables around. Uh, if uh, the top leader uh, board uh, uh, does not take part. But if he takes in part, he's one of the wrathful boys, old guards, who are never giving up until it's over. And uh, we shall have to await the last results if he's part of the rally uh, to know who turns out victor to give us the, the numerical calculations of who would be the eventual winner for the 2022 National Rally Championship. But we pray for everyone. Rally is a rally. It's done until it's done. And uh, we know the best man wins on the day. And with that, uh, that counts last into the uh, spiraling of everyone is resting. Uh, just away from the NRC, uh, the big story is Yasin Nasser. Uh, he did really, really well uh, winning the uh, Guru Nanak rally in Tanzania over the weekend. Uh, the big news is that he went to the UK after that uh, to M Sport and he's acquired the uh, Fiesta R5, uh, the first of its kind in the country. Uh, him and Ali Katumba, that is big news in Uganda. Yes, true. And I can say kudos to the Moi rally team. Uh, what I can recommend, or actually commend uh, uh, these guys, I can say Asin and uh, the team have really pulled up well-organized uh, situations in rallying that I've seen them prosper uh, level by level. And of course, you and I know you can only be at that when you really have the right machine, the right crew, the right mechanics, and the right resources. So I can say if Boyle now have the resources, and can pull it off and have such a zero mileage car from M Sport UK, that is something celebrating. That's something worth it to talk about. That's something worth to wait and watch. And uh, of course, that is another new challenge into the team where they need to adopt the technologies. But of course, it's bravo, bravo to the team. And as uh, the, the Federation of Motorsport Clubs of Uganda, we are proud in Tusa. We pride in such kind of investments, uh, which has seen us uh, have numbers. And I pray. We have the eyes of the sponsors opened wide uh, to have our boys keeping the sport as many of them are still dying to have such an excitement, having themselves sit in the rally cars for all the seasons they have really done up to put up resources for their racing. Do you get the feeling that uh, with Yasin purchasing his R5, uh, it's a turning point in Uganda motorsport, uh, uh, but it appears that at the moment, uh, when you look at entries, uh, particularly in Kenya being so low in 2022, uh, that at the moment is a big topic uh, here in Kenya. Uh, but with Uganda, uh, do you get the feeling that there will be more investment and this could be a turning point in Uganda motorsport? Absolutely. That is going to be a turning point. And of course, we've had several times where people really pick from the hard coffers uh, to get by these very state-of-art machines. And historically, Uganda has had a grid of where people surprisingly get into, uh, uh, jumping into high sophisticated machines from even the junk, what you would call as junk machines as starters. But of course, uh, this is alone an eye-opener. Actually, it's a tickle to the big shot. With such challenges coming up, we like, uh, like I can give you a live example, when Ronald Sebuguzi saw no more results coming from the EVX, I had to dispose it off and look for put up resources and go for the short boot car. That is the Proto Fiesta that has so far won him an event uh, since its uh, uh, importation into Uganda. Duncan Mubiru is one of uh, the, dar the darling top drivers Uganda has and it's entertaining and exciting. But of course, uh, uh, he only needs to give in a lot of time and he has the potential and the budget. He has uh, a few sponsors that have pulled up strings for him to see that he gets to achieve his dream as a racer, just as just Mangat and, of course, uh, other drivers. With the likes of that, I know for sure if just gets beaten up with the Evo, he will have a call to have another short boot car, the current trend of the Protos that, uh, or the Ford Fiesta's r 5 that will see him beat off the boys if he's to do this, uh, if he's to keep on the block uh, with relevancy, with such kind of uh, machines beating him up. But of course, I know he still counts on his Evo 10, as he still hunts down with the big short boot cars. But I think when time counts and uh, uh, counts over against him, uh, results will force him to have to upgrade to a new car. And just like other young appraising drivers, the likes of Mike Mukula, uh, the likes of uh, Mark Lubega, Santu, legendary driver, Charlie Lubega, Makalena, and uh, a breed of other more young drivers coming in, registering in as uh, competent drivers. That is to me, it's a challenge and a call away that is going to see us see more, more 
River is coming into the country and giving us a major competition as we all got to see and press see them get to on the battle line, giving us the best uh, speeds they can afford doing. All right. Uh, thanks very much, uh, Frank. We really appreciate you speaking to us on Metasport 411. Uh, glad and uh, thanks so much. Uh, permit me to thank all the people who have really laid up their lives to see the sport is growing and has continued in Uganda's uh, band lines. And uh, it's just the beginning, I can say, with the new formations and uh, formulation of policies that are countering uh, uh, with the running of the sport in the country. We are looking for the best and the brighter future. And I pray, actually cry out to the sponsors. They can be East Africa. East Africa, Puko Pamoja, I'm very sure uh, the message can cut across that if they can find their way in Uganda motorsport, they will see us excitedly consume their products, so that the sponsors, and excitedly see the magnitude of the sport cutting across all East Africa. Thanks so much, Sean and the producer, and I'm glad to be part of this show. I wish you the best and God bless. That's renowned journalist and also the head of FMU's Media and PR Commission, Frank Ahesi. We'll be back. <laughs> Sports 411 with Sean Cardavillis. So that's it for the show this week. Our thanks once again to Yasin Nasser and Frank Ahesi. Our thanks as always to Big City Studio. I'm Sean Cardavillis. See you next week.